and a, a lot of politicians allow animal industries to regulate themselves and horse racing is regulated itself it decides what is good and bad welfare which is a totally wrong approach because they've got a vested interest in promoting horse racing and welfare is an issue um, that they want to sort of keep on the back burner so to speak you know out of the public's attention so we said um, we need to get independent welfare regulation in horse racing so how do we do that well in the british government there's something called e-petitions where you can start a petition and if you get over a hundred thousand signatures on that petition that has to be de debated in the british parliament mm -hmm. of course it's a debate and we got over uh and you've got to get a hundred thousand signatures within six months and and we got about 105,000 signatures. So we forced a debate in the parliament. And we, what we said was, we want to see an independent regulator. Now the government, this was back in October, 2018, the government said, we won't be giving it, making racing independent. What we will do is establish an independent horse welfare board, which was really still an industry control board, but it was one, one improvement on what we had before. So we did see an improvement there. And this Horse Welfare Board has um, started a five year plan um, to try and implement greater welfare change, but it is still an industry controlled organization. But it's one step further down the line to, to improve welfare and to get in rid of, uh, of racing. And that's through our campaign in the Animal Aid. 